Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. I'd been away already. I don't know if I'd still call it home. Sometimes the best thing about a place is that it's where you're from. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. Do you have a name or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. I'm no guard, Evelyn. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the Guard. Gather round, all. I bring you a priceless treasure. From the highest heights of Mount Damaris is travelled. A pouch of Andraste's ashes. Verified by the scholar Genitivi, these ashes cure any ailment and provides virility in more intimate matters. Do I have a volunteer? <laughs> I'll try. Just a small pinch, Sarah. There you go. <sighs> My God, it's gone. Cured. 
by the Maker himself! That's enough. Clear out, you charlatans. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the Carter's coffers. They must be stopped. Step closer. No refunds on the ashes, friend. If the Maker doesn't favor you, that's between you and him, isn't it? Now we Stop. got... Stop! Thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. My children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. I know the Amels were nobility, Mother. But not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the Fourth Blight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Please, Uncle. We have a right to see it for ourselves. Maybe so. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. So, I hate thinking badly of family. Did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? 
Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. When this Deep Roads expedition comes through, we can buy her home back. Move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Gamlin couldn't have just sold himself and saved us all the trouble. <laughs> Can you just imagine him sweeping and scrubbing for some Tevinter matriarch? Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there. Get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. City life not agreeing with you. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. <coughs> but if he's with us, who'd keep Gamlin's debt collectors away? Take it. I'm sick of what's-his-name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly. Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with Doc? Real easy to remember. I'll let you sleep. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartran can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. I fought Darkspawn, but I've never been to the deep roads. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking. But if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. I can't wait to see what our ancestral estate was like. Can you imagine? Mother gave all that up for father.
Looks like a fight. Be ready. How about you? Let's finish this. There's more of them. Watch your step. That should do it. All set. We're close to the ambush, Hawk. Be ready. Here we go! There's our targets! For the Carpool Guard! I don't know. The looks of this. Uh, I'll stick you like a pet! Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. 
It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignments. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush? You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. A messy way to pass information. Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. We can't waste time, Hawk. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. Must be getting close to the ambush. Get I'm ready! Not using another guard to this mess. few down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details. City accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. How dare you! I am guard captain! I won't be treated like this! Veraldon, bitch! This was none of your affair! I'll see you hanged! Quartered! This will not stand! We found a number of debts to suspect peoples. Such poor character. But you, Aveline Valen, have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. The Viscount would have you put your care for the men into direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. What? In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this embarrassment? Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. <laughs> 